You know, I was having a really great day before this. I ate some delicious food, took care of my personal hygiene, and even touched grass. But then I decided to try and beat Bloons Tower Defense 6 with only darts. Man, why did I do this to myself? To give you some more context, I will be attempting to beat Chimps Mode, the hardest mode in Bloons, while only using dart projectiles. Though it might sound simple, trust me, it was a long, painful challenge. Hope you enjoy. So let's go over what towers we have. First for the dart monkey, even though it's in the name, we can't get any upgrades past the spiko pole. We can only get up to the super monkey fan club before it becomes plasma. And also we're not allowed to use the bottom path past the enhanced eyesight because it starts using a crossbow. Next we have the monkey suck. One of the saving graces of this challenge is we still get to use sub commander because it's still technically darts. So for the buccaneer, we can only actually get up to the destroyer. I actually had this one unlocked, but I just remembered it actually has missiles, which makes this challenge even harder. Now for the monkey A's, this is really bad. We can only get rapid fire and lots more darts. Anything past that point, you have this upgrade, which uses anti-Moab missiles and also third yes, tier yes, never miss. Now for heli pilot, this ain't it, chief. So we're only allowed focus firing, none of the laser shock, faster barrel spin, and powerful darts. Super monkey, we're only allowed up to the robo monkey. And lastly, I'm adding the village here. I'm not gonna use the village unless I have to. Let's start off with a good old dart monkey. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, you're actually not allowed any heroes at all. Even Quincy, which is like the only hero that even seemed close to fitting this challenge, he used bow and arrows like the crossbow. A the only way to pop lead without a village, actually would be the heat tip darts. That would make DDTs actually really difficult. Most dart upgrades, like I feel like don't really have a lot of peers. So that's gonna be like a super big problem when I'm trying to pop a billion ceramics. Oh shoot, they're struggling a little bit here. The regens are starting to get out of hand. If those zero So let's actually get up another submarine here. Advanced Intel, of course, with another triple gun. That should be enough to beat this round. All right, round 40 was a breeze. Okay, here's my question. Is Robo Monkey even worth it? Like this costs so much money and I can't even upgrade it to like Plasma Blast. Like that's such a waste, I feel like. He's gonna be over there doing as much damage as like a tier two sub on a good day. But yeah, for camo, let's just get up Crow's Nest with the double shot. This should be enough to take care of the camos because the subs will always be able to detect the camos now. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention about- Oh, wait a minute, this round is gonna be so painful. Okay, now we can put on strong. Will it be able to pop all these leads down? I'd be surprised, honestly. Okay, okay, it handled it. What I'm really worried about right now is that we literally won't have enough for sub commander, and I think we need it for round 63. This is actually sad. I don't think we have enough money. I'm off by 600. You know what, I think I could get 600 by that time. If I get it up right now, can it defend? Oh, shoot. Wait. Let's not talk about that voice crack. Okay, never mind. Round 63 wasn't as bad as I thought. All right, it's round 90. You know what? I want to see. How far will we get on this round if we get no upgrades? Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. <laughs> What's the game plan, guys? Nothing here could pop lead except for aircraft carrier, and we're not allowed to use it. Nothing here. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, can Robo Monkey hit lead? I've never used the Robo Monkey. Don't blame me for this. But who in their right mind uses the Robo Monkey without the plasma upgrade? So I'm gonna just see. Does this still shoot out darts? Hey, look, he's trying his best. I can't judge him. I'm gonna spam as many subs as possible. We have that and let's give it some more range here because I know it struggles a little bit with range. The reason I'm doing this is because this upgrade advanced intel, it shoots towards balloons that are in the radius of your other towers. So I kind of need some over here, you know? Let's see if it's possible. Uh, Look, okay, we popped one, we popped two, but realistically, it ain't happening. So we're gonna need the village here. With camo and mib you know what you know what okay next game i'm gonna play this on a different map and next time we're gonna get no village it's just this map doesn't have enough water so you know what at this point let's just start getting the armor piercing on every one of these subs 
There's so many fortified bads on the screen right now. It's insane. Oh yeah, by the way, we definitely need some more range. So let's get this up. The next two rounds should be a breeze, honestly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. The bad balloon is getting absolutely shredded right now. Not too bad, actually. This was not too bad. Alright guys, we're on a new map this time. It's still chimps mode, but this time, okay, we're gonna try our best to not use the village at all. I, I don't know how this is gonna work out, to be honest with you. Like, I don't even think this will work. So, Lotus Island- Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Huh? Huh? These Lotus things, so you could pop these, right? And they'll sun the blue. Like, let's say round 90 DDTs come out. I think I need these. If I use it right now, for instance, how long does it take to grow back? After researching it, it turns out that these lotus flowers actually regenerate after 3 minutes. As you can tell, it's much easier when you put them in the back. So it's round 40, I basically have 2 monkey subs with triple guns, 1 with heat tip darts for leads. I have a buccaneer here for extra range and a dart monkey here for extra range as well. Let's stun it there so we can just beat this round, there we go. Should I get up a never miss targeting? Is that even worth it? After beating round 89, it was now time to move on to round 90, which if you didn't know is extremely hard because my only DDT popping power are these 220 subs. And my gosh, this was not fun. Okay, this is really dumb. Like, I'm trying to put down the sub, and it's over the X. Six and a half hours later. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we got. We're using all the Lotus. I just want to beat round 90 because I think that's the maximum. Stun all these. Oh, I missed one. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Wait. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm so glad I didn't give up. You thought we were done? <laughs> No way! I uh might have died on round 93, I don't know. Which meant I didn't even beat chimps mode without the village yet. And so, yes, I tested yes, different yes, strategies yes, for hours. And uh, let's just say this challenge turned out to be way harder than I initially thought. I first had to find a tower which could help me defeat DDTs. DDTs have both lead and camel properties, which made it extremely difficult to beat within this challenge. It turns out the tower that I had completely forgotten about in the beginning even Quincy, which was like the only hero that even seemed close to fitting this challenge, was actually extremely helpful. First off, Etienne uses drones to pop balloons. These drones happen to shoot out darts. Yes, you heard that right. Darts. But that's not the reason he's useful. Nope. It's because when he reaches level 8, he unlocks UAV which gives all monkeys on screen camo detection. Now at first glance, camo detection doesn't seem to be useful on its own. After all, we're struggling with popping DDTs as a result of having absolutely no lead popping power. The reason this tower is so useful is that we can now upgrade subs to 024s yes, and 025s. Yes. Previously, we had no tower which could give submarines camo detection, besides the village which we aren't using. I don't feel so good. <laughs> And that restricted us from getting subs that didn't have the advanced intel upgrade. With Etienne's UAV ability now granting camo detection to all monkey subs, we could skip the advanced intel upgrade in favor of getting the middle and bottom path upgrades. At long last, air burst darts, triple guns, armor piercing darts, even sub commander have both lead and camo popping power. But remember, Advanced Intel had granted the ability for our subs to see across the map. While we gain more overall popping power from the bottom path upgrades, we are sacrificing massive, massive amounts of range. So I started by finding a map which could benefit the most out of using subs. Eventually, I decided on this bummy, crummy, great map called Spice Island. It has a lot of water. This ain't it, chief! But instead of playing chimps, I had to play Impoppable. Cause you know, I'm not playing this map in my free time. <laughs> Wait guys, why does the sub commander have an effect on this submarine back here? When the description is adds extra piercing damage to commander and all subs in its radius. 
Okay guys, it is round 79. I might have to sell Etienne somewhere around this time period. And the reason is because I can't let it get up to level 20 or else it will start using non-dart towers. Yo, I'm back. But uh, this explanation will be a bit quicker, okay? I promise. Etienne starts off by only having rockets as an ability. A great feature because then I could completely avoid using them. But once Etienne reaches level 20, he somehow obtains a massive rocket drone thingy. I mean, don't ask me how this is possible, bro, because it shouldn't be. If Etienne reaches level 20, I immediately lose. So... Let's sell and rebuy it, and let's unlock some levels so that it gets a head start. But yeah, hopefully I won't need any camo for now, because I need Etienne to get level 8. Looks like we're on the right track here, because we already have the camo upgrade on Etienne. In 11 rounds, it cannot turn to level 20, or else this whole run was pointless. Here we go, first DDTs, will we beat them? Okay, we beat them with ease. Alright, we beat that round pretty easily. That's great. We still have 95 to get through, and that is definitely one of our biggest challenges, as well as 99 with the fortifieds. And 98, just for having normal balloons, man. These last 10 rounds are going to be scary. Oh, uh, it, looks, it looks like we're handling it pretty well, actually. I'm pretty surprised at that. Thought we'd be doing a little bit worse. I even forgot to target my sub commanders on strong. Oopsies. Oh my goodness, this is starting to get a bit overwhelming, guys. Come on, Etienne, do something, please. Oh my goodness, there's so many fortified ceramics, it's so scary. Round 99, unimpoppable. Nothing but darts. Can we beat these fortified DDTs? It looks like we're actually struggling quite a lot here. Okay, and I don't know if we could beat this. Come on. Let's put all of these on strong, actually. So, hopefully this will do something. Everything on strong for the DDTs. Will that help in any way? That's looking a bit better. Oh yeah, much better. All right, round 100, guys. Now, did you remember how the sub commander buffed subs outside of its range? Well, it turns out it was actually a monkey knowledge. And monkey knowledges are actually banned on chimps. After hours of testing, it turns out that super ceramics were too much for the subs to handle without this monkey knowledge. Unluck- It's time to find a new map. What the heck? Hey guys, you can low-key fit a lot of subs here. <laughs> like, a lot. Okay, let's hope guys. Let's hope this works. Uh... So right now, it's not really struggling too hard with the DDTs, but it's just the fortified ceramics, man. Just look at them. It's just, it's just painful. It's painful to watch, to be honest with you. That's just sad to see, really. Fight! I mean, so far, man, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna just get more camo monkeys. I don't know how we're gonna beat 98 at this stage. Now let's see, will it do a good enough job? There's just so many BFBs, man. I don't know. This is dangerous. Like right here, if we pop the Etienne ability, will it help? Holy crap. You have Spice Islands, which is like the best map ever, but it's too short. It's too short for me to actually beat it. I, I really like, I don't have too many options left. And so I hopped in sandbox mode once again. There just had to be a tower which could save me. One that I had completely forgotten about. And then it hit me. The downdraft heli pilot. I mean, this could help me push back ceramic and give my monkey subs more time to pop them. But when I was testing, I realized something even more important. I could upgrade the heli pilot to its fifth tier and still only have darts. The support Chinook heli has multiple abilities. One of them being to redeploy monkeys at different locations, another one being to give supply crates with money or lives. But there's also a third ability. This ability provides a marine monkey with a gun. Hmm, wonder where I've seen this before. At first, I dismissed it completely. After all, if snipers use bullets to shoot balloons, why would the marine monkey use anything else? Well, just imagine my shock when I saw that the marine monkey actually shoots out darts. You know what? You don't have to imagine it. I'll just show you. To be honest, I don't think that- WAIT! Whoa, whoa, wait a minute guys. Let's see what this person shot. Watch. It's shooting darts. It's shooting darts. It's shooting 
darts. Do you hear me? And if you didn't know, this marine monkey completely shreds ceramic balloons. After testing the last 10 rounds on resorts again using this monkey, it was finally beatable. I had found the missing piece to my puzzle. Now all I had to do was to beat it officially on chimps mode. And this was not as easy as you think. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm so ready. The strategy is going to be pretty similar, except I'm going to need some planning with Etienne here. So I'm going to get Etienne up right now. So I'm going to sell her once she nears level 20 so that I could still get her camo buff. All right, guys, it's officially round 40. Will the Moab stand a chance? I think the answer is no, guys. Alrighty guys, looks like we will be able to afford the sub commander now, which is going to help out with our defense significantly. Let's get it right now. I just remembered you cannot sell in chintz. And Etienne is going to level up to level 20 before round 100. Let's see how much XP it gets. No, that's way too much guys. Oh man, this is just a race against time. I have to beat 12 rounds for Etienne to not level up to level 20. Can we do it? Can we do it? I just hope level 20 requires more XP or something at this point because otherwise I might be a bit screwed. I'm glad though that DDTs aren't my biggest struggle anymore because picking resort was one of those choices that's like it completely changes the outcome of this entire game. So was the Etienne pick, man. This challenge has been building up so many different layers, bruh. My brain has evolved throughout this challenge. I feel enlightened don't turn to level 20 man i don't know just oh it's gonna happen let's just test if we could beat this round then oh man so let's quickly try to get another marine over here there we go as you can see it's doing a great job fantastic job absolutely flawless job but unfortunately guys you will see the next round I have this big old dumb plane, man. The challenge is lost on the last stretches, man. And so, I still had to deal with Etienne. So I tried again and got Etienne a few rounds later. And guess what happens? On round 100, the last possible round, Etienne gets level 20. You cannot make this up. This is insane. And so, your boy whipped out the calculus. What? Using the wiki's information, plus my knowledge of somewhat knowing calculus, I tried to piece together what the earliest round I could place Etienne was so that it wouldn't reach level 20. So pretty much the whole point of all of this math was that I can get it at like around round 50. That's about it. The worst part was, on my next defense, I placed Etienne at a later time because I thought, well, it's okay because it's just an approximation. And then I realized, round 59, there's camo leads and I had absolutely no way of popping the camo leads. Like, this is ridiculous. The, oh my god. On my next attempt, I made sure to do everything properly. I made sure that I could place Etienne at the right time, aka round 48, round 49. Then, I made sure I could pop the camo balloons on round 56. I proceeded to scream in joy as Etienne got the camo upgrade before round 59. And after that, it was smooth sailing. Any time now, DDTs. There we go. The first DDTs have come. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing great. There's some ceramics on the last bend here, but I think the downdraft will be able to help us with that. We have completed Loon's Tower Defense 6 with only darts.